Well, thanks very much. Good morning, everybody. You know, the snow is starting out a light and fluffy consistency for most of us. Sparkling crystals you'll notice in there, too. That does change for a little bit wetter snow consistency. Even some rain mixes in from Boston Point south and east and right along the immediate coast to Cape Ann later today. Still watching a chance of snow Thursday night and Friday. Right now, the temperature squarely in the 20s. That's why everything's had no problem sticking all the way down to the Cape where we just hit two and a half inches of snow in Brewster. I can switch things to the impact view, which kind of highlights where the snow is heaviest. There's not a lot of that going on. You've got some stripes of it that are running along Route 44 and also near Buzzards Bay, but really there's not a lot of heavy snow at all to speak of. So actually the opposite. You've got breaks in the action from Acton to Framingham just reaching up over Route 2 right now. You've got another break coming out of Mansfield and Foxborough heading over toward Brockton. Still snowing steadily in Boston, but it is fairly light. Same thing when you run up Route 128. That it's not to mislead you and tell you that the roads are going to be easy going because in some spots they're not. Where the chemical treatment has been put down. That's been doing a little bit better job where it's just rock salt. It's been too cold for that to really do the trick. More light snow coming off of Route 20 right now uh, coming through uh, Oxford, Auburn, Worcester. It's coming in on you now. And then when you get northwest to Keene, it's been very light, but it'll fill in a little bit more later in the day for you. South Shore has been snowing steadily up and down Route 3, Route 24 and 44. Temperature just starting to rise enough that rock salt will be a little bit more effective, but you need the snow rate to come down a little bit more. So latest snow reports two and a half at West Tisbury. That's Martha's Vineyard. And Harwich picking up two and a half and Sandwich about 1.5. Canton's at two right now, still coming down. Malden's at two and still coming down. It's a pretty good feed of moisture still coming in, too. So you say, all right, how long is this going to last? Most of the day. Um, but notice the rain snow line comes across the canal by the time we get to mid-morning. Comes up to Boston by the time we get to midday. This is lunchtime. Now, 95 to 495 north and west of town, you stay at or below freezing all day. So it stays as snow and it stays a little more icy for you. For the rest of us, notice a big break in the action during the afternoon. Uh, you get a little bit milder. That's why I say, look, from midday on, a lot of folks, particularly Boston Metro, immediate Metro, down to the south and east, are going to actually find vast improvement during the midday in the afternoon. You end up with one to two inches uh, around uh, Nantucket Outer Cape, but you're two to three, even as I mentioned, Brewster running up through the canal uh, in south of town, three to four just south of Boston, running out the Mass Turnpike, and then western uh, Essex County, northern Middlesex, northern Worcester County hit four to five. That extends out through western mass, also extends off to the north where eventually you hit a square six inches of snow from the White Mountains to the mountains of Maine. So skiers, snowmobilers, snowboarders, it's more good news for you. Uh, tonight, there will probably, even though the sky clears, be some slick roads because there'll be moisture on the roads when it drops to 20 degrees. Tomorrow's going to be quiet. Thursday's going to be quiet. It's Thursday night and Friday. We'll watch the next storm to the south. We're going to get grazed by some amount of it Thursday night into Friday. Uh, TBD, just how much. The chance of snow in Boston during the day Friday's dropped from 70% yesterday yesterday down to 40 percent so that's been a trend in the right direction if you don't want it uh saturday sunday cold and then the pattern breaks for the middle of next week